Hi, welcome. Today I will be talking about Linux security. Um, I know a lot of people don't talk about security within their Linux um, computers, but it is essential to have security even on Linux um, for that matter. The reason being is that there's no operating system out there that is 100% clear of viruses, spam, adware. Um, I don't care what operating system you're running. It can be from Windows to Apple, Mac OS X to Linux to OpenBSD, um, Solaris. They're all open to vulnerabilities. Um, so let's get, go ahead and get that straight out there. And today I will be discussing a tool called Check Rootkit for you Ubuntu Linux boxes. And this also this tool is also available for all Linux flavors what you may notice about this tool is that it's already available on your synaptic or on your repositories I'm sorry and let's go ahead and just go to a synaptic package manager and we will actually uh, look for it here so on the upper right hand just make sure you enter um, chk root kit and you'll see it right there I already have it installed, but in your case you haven't installed it, just go ahead and do that. You can also install this through um, the command line if you wish to do so. But for the new Linux users, this is the best way to do it. And just to let you know that this is already available within your Ubuntu uh, repositories. So okay, once you've installed it, let's go ahead and just open terminal. What I'm going to do here is expand the terminal so I can show you uh, uh, scan in progress. So I'm going to type in with sudo privileges the command that you see there, check rootkit. What's going to do is start scanning the entire uh, root directory for any rootkits that may be um, running around on your system. So as you can see here, it's already done, but let's scroll up right here you'll notice it says here the following suspicious files and directories were found so let's go ahead and uh, delete those directories and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just open another terminal box for you and I'm just gonna copy this one and what I'm gonna show you here is that this is actually a hidden directory even you notice here with a dot um, java right here dot java 6 you notice that it that is a hidden directory anything with a dot in front of it means hidden directory or file in linux so what i'm going to do here is just go ahead and um, see if i can list that file with the command line so what i'm going to do is type in the ls command minus a and enter that directory and as you can see here it did find it in Java 6 and let's go ahead and remove it so we're gonna remove that directory and I will type it in and there we go let's go ahead and check for it again it's no longer there so this is one way of removing rootkits on your system. In any case, the directories are long like this, but uh, the best way to get rid of it is just to um, copy it and get remove it from your Linux box using, you know, root privileges, especially if it's um, located on in the root directory. That's the best way to do it. And one thing you might want to notice too before we close this out is every time there's a space between them that means that this is another directory what you see here all the way scrolling across it's not one directory or one file the space here means that this is a, another file located in another directory so this is one way of protecting your Linux boxes and continue on without having to worry about you know whether you're infected or not you know constantly checking your boxes to make sure you're not infected or exposed to any vulnerabilities is a good thing to do 
and this is one way of doing it I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I, hope I hope you guys continue to give the support you have given and if you have any questions please let me know comment if you can I thank you for watching goodbye thank you